Hey guys, so today I am doing a, another speed drawing. I know I've done like so many on the channel already, but today I wanted to do this one because I liked how the drawing turned out and I thought it would be a pretty fun one to do a speed drawing of. And today I am drawing Okada in his Rainmaker gear. I think this is like the third New Japan related speed drawing I've done on this channel, but I've been just drawing a lot of uh, New Japan pro wrestling art lately. Um, I've just been really into it lately, so I've been wanting to draw a lot of art for it. Plus, I really like drawing wrestling related art, whether it's like WWE, New Japan, whatever, because I really like to draw like the attires and stuff, but also I feel like it's just really fun to take like their character and kind of like translate it into the art. I hope that makes sense. Okada was a wrestler I had been wanting to draw for a while, pretty much since I like started watching New Japan, and I just like never got around to it until I watched his match that he had against Jay White, who I have drawn, so if you want to see how my drawing of him turned out, um, I'll put the link in the description down below, you can go check it out. And I had been wanting to draw him in the Rainmaker attire, and when he came out with it, everyone was like so hyped, because you know, when Okada comes out with that gear, you know, you know he means business. And then he revealed the trunks, and then the whole crowd just went wild, it was great. So, he was definitely on like my high priority to draw list from there. So starting off with the drawing as you saw earlier, I inked it with my Prismacolor um, fine liners as well as my Pentel pocket brush pen. And I went and I colored the skin and the hair with my Copic markers. For the Copic skin, um, I used E53, E31, E33, and then a little bit of E35, although switched the order of the E31 and the E53 because I used the E31 as the base. And then I colored in the hair with mostly um, warm gray Copic markers. And then the eyes and eyebrows were colored, the brown part was colored with a Prisma color marker in like a dark brown, I think it's called like dark umber. And the like um, white part of the eye was colored with C0 and C2 Copic markers. The robe was definitely one of the more complicated parts of the drawing. It had a lot of like little detailed parts and pieces, but I think that's what made it really fun to color. So I did use some Copic markers in this. I used T9 and T10 mostly with like a little bit of T8, but I did also use a lot of Ahuhu markers as well, mostly for the red, and I did add some purple Copic in there as well. Um, one of the really fun parts of this piece was I used a ton of metallic brush pens, well, really only three. The gold and the silver ones were the Zig Metallic brush pens, and the purple marker was by the brand American Crafts. And I also went in with a lot of my clear jelly roll, like, glittery um, pen. It's really great for adding, like, a lot of sparkly details into this piece.
When it came to the background of this piece, I was kind of debating, I wasn't like 100% what I wanted to do. For the background color, I was debating between doing a very like turquoisey blue color that I thought would kind of like contrast a lot of the colors that were on his robe. And then the other one I was deciding on was like a purple to kind of match with a lot of the purples in the theme and I ended up going with the purple. Um, I used a Ahuhu marker to color the background for that. I also used a Kovic marker to kind of shade around the outline of the background. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!